in a world where opportunity abounds. The International Association of Black Actuaries presents an opportunity that might be just the right one for you. Wouldn't you like a career where you can make a difference in the major issues that are facing us right now, ranging from retirement to global warming to globalization, changes in technology? Wouldn't you love to have a career where you can really make a difference in people's lives? What is this career? Ever heard of an actuary? Howard University sent something to my school mathematics department during in high school, 11th grade and high school. And they said they had a summer actuarial program. And we read it and we said, Axia who? Axia what? Usually when I tell people I'm an actuary, they, they think that I work in a mortuary or with horses. My father's friends and my mother's friends, they'll say, so what do you do? What did you go to school for? I say, actuarial science. They're like, oh, really? That's nice. And I say, do you know what it is? And they're like, no, it just says science. It's nice. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's definitely overlooked. I enjoy telling people what I do such that we can, you know, uh, expand the knowledge of, of everybody out there to let people know that actuaries are out there. We have an important job. Insurance can't get priced or sold without the actuaries. Um, we, we do a lot to develop the economy in general, so I'm very proud to be an actuary. We analyze risk. We put a price on products, whether it's pension, health, or life products. Basically trying to predict the future which is a very difficult thing to do. Even the weatherman can tell it might rain this morning and in the evening it wouldn't. Just just 24 hours. We are looking at 10, 15, 20, 30 years down the line, trying to make sure your company is financially sound. So it takes a lot of hard work. There, the secret's out. Personal or commercial rates for life insurance, homeowner's insurance, health insurance. If you drive a car, motorcycle, or boat, even the future of Social Security. The actuary's work determines the cost. It's an enormous task, an enormously important task. Do you want in? Here's what it takes. Today's actuary has become a business professional. Yes, we have a foundation in mathematics, but it's not all about the math. It's about being able to understand the business concepts and really drive decisions within a corporation. And so the biggest misconception is that we can't talk to folks and that we're not communicators, and in fact we are, and we have to be in order to be a today's actuary. We could just as well be marketers or salespeople. The face of the actuary has changed. It's not the typical, oh, I'm a nerd, I'm behind a desk and I'm just typing away. So just think about it. If you like math, if you like statistics, if you're a computation person uh, and you're a really strategic planner, I believe that actuary is definitely, definitely a role for you. Academically, you need to have um, an extraordinary competence in mathematics. Um, the second thing I would say is to recognize that an actuary is a business person and therefore you need to be in, interested in mathematics, not just for its own sake, but in the context of a business. It's a profession in which your ethics, uh, values of fairness, fair play, are called upon every day to do what you want to do. So if you're if you interested in that type of life, then I would say this is for you. As with every profession, some students focus on their chosen path early, and others, well, they take a different route. I started out as, a, um, as an architecture major. And I was supposed to go and do medicine because that's what my, her my parents wanted me to do. But I liked math and I was walking around in a math department and I saw this note on a professor's door, if you really like math you should consider being an actor. I'm like an actor what? <laughs> so I went to Florida A&M as an actuarial science major, came out of Florida A&M and went on to pursue my career. About the age of 13 or 14, that's when I heard about it from a tutor that my sister had. And I've been on the track ever since. When I was in high school, I spoke to my guidance counselor and said that I was interested in uh, being in a math-related re uh, field. I'd heard about accounting, um, some science, but I wasn't really that good in science. And she said, have you ever heard of actuarial science? And I said, no, I haven't. She said, I know an actuary and I can send you to uh, where that person works and you can see for yourself and kind of talk to actuaries. So, uh, I became the first female 
to become a casualty actuary um, who's African American. The members of the International Association of Black Actuaries want to get more students on the track early, introduce them to opportunity, and then help them on the road to becoming an actuary. The fact is, people of color are underrepresented in this profession. International Association of Black Actuaries was started in 1992, and it was started by a group of folks who thought that we needed more black actuaries in the profession. In 1992 when we started, there were 30 certified black actuaries in the world. Now we're at 119 in just a short 15 year period. There are 12,000 members of the actuarial societies in the U.S. in total. And right now we're at 119 of that. We ought to be 12% of that number. And so until we can get north of 1,000, we're just not gonna be happy as an organization to stop talking about the number. A big part of the reason for that is simply exposure. The reason why we didn't have that is because black kids didn't know about the profession. They met doctors, they've met engineers, they met lawyers, but many of them had not met an actuary. And so this group decided we ought to do something about that. What they are doing is spreading the word about the actuarial profession, sharing the knowledge of some of the pioneers, and continuing to inspire others as they've been inspired. I took some sense of pride in having uh, been involved fairly early in the profession and being an example of people that uh, you can do things uh, that people don't expect you to do if you work hard at it. I give a lot of credit to Ollie Sherman and by extension the IABA for encouraging me not only to finish but to carry on in what needs to be done. Within one of the brochures that I got was a um, it was a recruitment brochure about the profession that was really targeted at minorities. And there was a photograph of Marsha Bear Morris in there, who is um, one of our pioneers. She was the first black woman to achieve fellowship in the Society of Actuaries. And that meant the world to me, to see her photograph in that, um, in that brochure. It was as if the woman whose photo she saw in that recruitment brochure spoke to her. Now that very same woman is speaking to you. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. You can, if you want to, and just decide how you're going to, to, to handle your own life. Don't uh, get discouraged easily. Keep fighting. Marsha Bear Morris kept fighting when other people told her she was too old to take the actuarial exams. She didn't let the barriers of age, race, or gender stop her. She overcame them all, and her work gained presidential recognition. I was appointed by President Clinton to uh, the three-person Military Retirement Board of Actuaries. It's scheduled to expire in 2009, in September of 2009. And before her, Robert Joseph Randall Sr. was the first to blaze a path for others to follow. He was a young newlywed and World War II veteran looking for a good job. Little did he know, accepting the position as an actuarial trainee would be a history-making decision. I graduated from high school in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania at the head of my class. I won a scholarship to Yale, I majored in mathematics, and I became an actuary. I was the first black employee of the Mutual Life of New York, and then later on I became the first black employee and the first black officer of uh, TIAA CREF, and later on the first black officer <laughs> of uh, equitable life so it seemed everywhere I turned I was the first black but that was a time where those barriers were being broken down. This letter confirmed his hiring and his starting salary in 1946, $2,400. With these history makers behind them, there's nothing stopping the International Association of Black Actuaries from moving forward intent on increasing the number of black actuaries by first increasing awareness.
I'd like to uh, have people understand at a very early age that this is a, a profession that they could consider and uh, have enough information about the profession to understand uh, whether it is something they want to pursue. I think it takes outreach from as soon as they're able to walk. That's how I see it, but some people may feel that to be in a very extreme point of view. We want to reach children to encourage them to develop their math skills, even if they don't go on to become actuaries. We have a wealth of talent. We have a wealth of committed individuals. And not only are they talented in mathematics, but they also are talented in the areas of um, planning. For those that are first starting, we have a variety of sessions to get people familiar with what it takes. And we have role models that demonstrate not only what it takes, but you can do it. You can see that I did it and others, so you can do it too. We have financial assistance through scholarships. We offer access as people enter the career to individuals that are at the same point they are. So they can compare notes, they can compare strategies, winning strategies. Winning strategies for moving up the career ladder. The accreditation process involves these exams that you have to take and pass in order to become an actuary. And the typical travel time uh, ranged between five and eight years on average. I'm very rewarded by being able to meet the students and um, see their progress, um, see how much value that we're adding in their lives, and um, it's, it's incredibly rewarding to be a part of that effort. It's a very demanding um, process to become an actuary, but once you get there, it's very rewarding. If you're looking for security, it's security. If you love math, I mean, you definitely will always, you know what I'm saying, love your profession. I think it's, it's a gold mine out there right now. You know? I have yet to meet an unemployed actuary, so there's, I, so there's job security, and that's also a good thing. At the end of the day, you gotta love what you do. It can't be about the money. It's gotta be that you love what you do, and I do love what I do. I love using numbers to tell me a story. Go for it. Go to your guidance counselor. Go to your admissions office career development officer and get more information.